Titus looks down low. Finds Kate Kane, and Kate Kane with the first basket of the game for Nebraska. Back up to Whitish, who thought about the three. Let's skip pass to the wide open high beam. Knocks it down. Three point of Nebraska up here, 5 2. This year made them make the extra pass. Hybe hasn't been shooting a great percentage, but she was dead on that time. Great move by Mila Goodchild on the reverse lay in for the Australian born Goodchild. Three of Husker women's basketball, and the fact that none of them also had 400 assists in addition to that, really a great thing, a great milestone for Hannah White. This first period, Brown with the drive. Off the back, the rebound for Nebraska, put back up strong and good by Izzy Bourne. An opportunity for a three-point play for Bourne. Defense just fooled Nebraska into that turnover. Akambadi James came up with the turnover and leads to a bucket by Haley Gorecki. Talks about Nebraska protecting the ball and they turn it over twice. <laughs> Are you saying I'm a jinx once again? <laughs> it's a shot in the bucket. First to that side allows Eliley to go hard to the rim. Not good defensive rotation that time. Great take drive by Gorecki. Off glass. Nebraska pushes pace, and here's Kissinger. Had a chance to be on the Husker women's basketball radio show last night, hosted by Matt Coatney. Kissinger's three-pointer again. Kissinger! On fire is Kissinger. That's four threes in six attempts. All year long, and now she's got four threes in this game. That's what Taylor Kissinger does. Two and a half years, two years and seven months before getting back into play this year. What a shot by Leah Brown and the foul on a three-point opportunity. Whitish with an open look. Yeah, Whitish and Nebraska's eight three-pointers. Baseline. Block shot, but back up strong goes Akambadi James. Still has to kind of get out of that high school mentality of trying to create it all on her own. Directly lays it in. She has 13. <laughs> Off the steal and lay in. Ball to Kissinger quickly. Down low, Williams. Nice move. Good feed there by Odom down low. And off to Eli. From the corner, Kissinger again. <laughs> Look out, she left the Big Ten last year. Kissinger is down in the left corner. Look how wide open she is. Everybody on the other end of the court knew it for the Husker fans, and they were trying to get the Huskers to... Ivy down low, wide open. They lost Bourne underneath who lays it in. The Duke offense, they have had too many straight line drives and getting into the paint. Knockdown three-pointer from the top, Ashton Verbeek. Clock off here at the end of the third quarter. Ivy with it. Ivy with the drive under and got the scoop. Nice drive, a little stutter step by Ivy. Mershon with it, tries to feed down low. Saving pass in from Gorecki. And up ahead to Odom who lays it in. Allowing her to have a comfortable look. Whitish three-pointer on the way. She got it. That's just good ball movement there. Good move down low. Off glass and down by Akambadi Jank on top of Duke in this Big Ten ACC challenge. Good move down low again. Odom with the basket. She's the leading scorer for Duke with 16. Down low to Kane. And Kane is blocked by Akambadi Jank. Kissinger up top. Kane with the turnaround. Got a good shot by Kate Kane. Hustled by Goodchild to keep it alive. Gorecki drives baseline. Good pass to Odom. Got him in. So they had time for a good shot and an offensive rebound. Still have time on the clock. But off the deflection, the hustle play by Goodchild. The Gorecki driving into the paint. That's a beautiful pass to Odom. Odom has been owning the paint, patrolling the paint, making herself available. Great. Vision. Good child. Three is on the way. That is off, and that will end it. So, for the second time in this Big Ten ACC challenge, Nebraska has knocked off Duke.